Alright. Once you create your character or install the add-on, you'll have all this pop up. You're gonna decide which and like other add-ons that conflict with it, it will give you a choice of which one you want to disable. So I prefer tidy plates, so I'll disable evil UI. Set your character. Bars. Set chat. Pixel perfect. I enable it. I always choose dark just for my theme. Now your resolution of which you'll pick, it's gonna let you know if you're high resolution or low resolution here. Your layout you'll want either tank, healer, physical DPS, or caster. Now, this is important. If you click icons only, that controls how you see different buffs on other players integrated. Alright. If you want to see like if you want to, if you like mousing on a person and seeing what mount they have on to see the, the type of name of the mount and such you want to pick classic. If you pick like integrated, it dis uh, it unenables such that those buffs and filters them out. So if you mouse target a player and you're like, oh, that's a cool mount, wondering what they're riding, it won't show that mount uh, buff on the player. So I always choose classic because there are certain buffs I still like to see on another on my target. Right. And then once you're done with all that, click finish. It's gonna read. Hopefully faster this time. Alright. Disable pop-up stuff. Alright. These other add-ons I'm not gonna really worry with right now. Click over here for your options for uh, EOV UI. In general, I like to disable the loot roll. Disable loot. Bags. I disable the big bag, which is the one huge bag. I enable my bag mini bar, so you actually can click your individual bags. Chat. I don't like short channels. I don't like the emo. I don't like the smiley faces instead of this on there. And for right now. Except it's gonna reload again, and then from, you can just pretty much load it on any other character you have, rather than have to go through this pretty much every single time, resetting all your stuff. But the first time you're gonna, uh, I'm gonna click on it again, and see you've got your individual back bars and such. Now go to unit frames, like your player frame. If you'll click on these you can drop down change different things portrait I like to enable portrait because I like the little three-dimensional images on my targets do the same thing for your target come down to where's it at I'm just looking at my mind. Ah, boss frames portrait all right now like on the different raid groups like 25 man and 40 man it's disabled for your icons to show the roles I like to turn those on so where they are uh, roll icons all right it's enabled on that one 40 man it's disabled I will enable it now to move your now, also for action bars, I'll talk about that. You can actually enable the extra action bars and have all of your action bars. You can resize them, move them around, whatnot. 
the micro bar you can enable I usually do on my character that gives you the standard little bar there now if you click toggle anchors you can move all of your stuff around to where you want it and then when you click get everything where you want it click lock close and then all your stuff will be where you moved it to you can even resize that and such all right now for the profile if you go to profiles you've created one based on your character I usually like once I've made one oh, yeah you can see I got a lot of them I'll come down here load default whatever to the one I want and then copy this one to that and then from then on that's my template for my characters you see I also have one for hills, melee melee and tank I use the same format so they're the same and hopefully that helps you out with this add-on getting it set up and configured